<lacht> in unserem Alter? In dem Alter der aktuellen Generation. Ah. Wir sind jünger als die Jungs. Hä? Wie alt bist du? 27. Ah, okay, ich bin gleich. Ja? Ich nicht. Ja, was bist du denn so? Ja, ja, du 94. Wir sind für Sie da. Wir sind Hanse Mondial. To anyone who doubts us tells us we can't, or won't. Says we're not good enough, strong enough, skilled enough. Says we're not enough. Too bossy, too this, too that. On the field, off the field. We don't have to say a word, because we'll prove you wrong in every single thing we do. In every rep, every sprint and every play, with every shot. We'll play until our legs don't carry us. Don't believe us? Still doubt us? Watch us. Better isn't a destination. It's a journey. Yeah. It's a journey. Scored a goal made a save, won a game, great. But what did it work? What could you have done better? Succeeding one time isn't enough. Winning one game isn't enough. We're never satisfied. So get used to the mistakes. Keep learning from them. Because better is out there. And it's never done. commentating so if the camera is late when I say a name please excuse that it's happening bear with us we're doing our best it's nine in the morning we had a late night Yeah, I've been there and I actually hung out with the Switzerland team for a good while. Um, I was surprised to see them here with the first game of the morning. We, we, got, them, we got them waving at us. Um, oh, they were having a great time. They were joined by me. <laughs> um, I uh, got some insights on how to pronounce their names. I'm not going to lie, I forgot all of it. Yeah, I have the I have the roster up here with me. Um, let's hope I don't lose it because the refs are gonna need it after the game. Uh, we have some adjusted numbers for Poland as well. Um, so I think we're all good to go, and we're gonna be saying the right name. Credit. Yeah, I haven't proven myself yet, but <laughs> yesterday I tried it out a couple of times, not gonna lie. Uh, the camera was a little bit late whenever I was trying to read. Um, the Switzerland names are fine because they're pretty German or English, but when you get to Hong Kong, it takes a little bit longer to read a name. Yeah, that's all you need to know really, because he and Evan McDomay, they do everything. Yeah, there are Canadian players actually in the NLL is one of them. That's the Yeah, they have it in their belt. 
So they're, I, I mean, good for them that they showed up. I hope they had like a good work done. Sixers, but uh, as a goalie for the women's game, and um, as a goalie, I'm not that much concerned with all the new rules. I just block the shot. Oh, look at them fighting off the ball. Right? <laughs> Definitely. Let's see if it picks up, but for now, just got to get the ball with the limbs off on off. Number 14, Sisto Eskinski. Yeah. Yeah, well, he has to, if he was, he has to take off that game yesterday. Because it definitely doesn't feel great. But he's going, with the saves today, I'm sure he feels much better already. I think that's also a, a hangover con a consequence. Not really trying to dodge in there right away. Let's give them some time to wake up. And that was a great shot that bounced off the net. I would have thought it went inside, but the ref. Yeah, I, I thought it touched the pipe. Oh, was that the first goal? That's so much sure. Taking the time to settle. There is a 30 second shot clock. It's run down to five seconds. Poland's yet to get a shot off. Three seconds and now. Getting the shot up in the really last second. Yeah, that was awesome. That's what your coaches want you to do whenever they yell, Can you have 30 seconds? Oh, and now with the goal, that was number eight, Sisto Kiga. What is the problem? <laughs> okay. Yes, I realize so. Okay. So, hello right into the first quarter. Uh, we are your streaming team, and as we have to uh, move the camera and cut to the screens and everything else, uh, simultaneously, we just missed to turn on the commentating. So here we are now. My name is Ole, and I'm joined by. I'm Flo up here on the tower doing the camera. Yeah, we gave you already some insights about the hangover the Swiss team and uh, the Polish playing box yesterday, but uh, nothing was recorded. So <laughs> we'll just do it <laughs> again. We're starting now, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Switzerland is w one zero here by one shot. They had a few ones, but the Polish goalie saved a few ones as well after, I think he's one of the box goalies from yesterday, so it's quite good to see him safe here. Another great save by him. Uh. He's having a much better day than yesterday, I'm sure. I agree. And also bear with me that I missed the first replay of the goal. This is one of the parts of you, just two guys here, no commentator. And uh, some guys of the team are just missing. But yeah, I mean, we all had a late night yesterday, including the Switzerland players who <laughs> I hung out with at the party until like 2 a.m. But I'm just here standing, and they're out there running again. Yeah. So kudos to them. But you're also reading the, the score sheet while commentating, while <laughs> filming, so 
can give some credit to yourself for doing that here. And you was you have, have been the first one with me building up everything here, so I want some cheers for Flo in the comment in the comments here. And we got the first flag here for was it Poland? Yeah, probably Poland. Yeah, one minute for number eleven. That's Philip Koszczyk. Koszczyk. Let's see what the Swiss guys can do from a with their men up here. Moving the ball around. They're really taking their time. The shot? No, nice. Uh, ah, nice feet, nice try. Got the shot fake here towards the pass, but unfortunately didn't connect. Yeah. Oh, look, the Switzerland guys doing early pressure now that they're man up, and it works. They uh, almost get a turnover here, but Poland keeps possession of the ball. I think I asked Garrett yesterday already, our main commentator. Is there like a clearing clock? Do you have? Do you know that? Well, I just know that in boxes you have the ten seconds yeah, yeah, exactly. to get across. So I, I would assume a similar rule. But you played um, sixes as a goalie before, right? Yeah, but um, so as oh, a goalie, here we go. that was another goal for Switzerland. That was Cherry Frey with the goal. So as a goalie, we have our ten seconds in the crease. Um, so I don't think it's 10 seconds to get across. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because um, the 10 sec Oh, wait, it's 5 seconds in the crease, I think, actually, for 6s. But still, I would assume that there is no clearing clock then, because 5... Oh, nice feet. Uh, ah, unfortunately. Low shot. It goes wide. Right. But still, great play. That was Timon Sona. <laughs> All right, here. We got Chris Klassens carrying it upfield. Switzerland guys settling in. Oh, another great save. Oh, yeah, one minute left. So my time actually here is quite accurate. You can watch the clock in the stream, which represents the time quite well. It's 2-0 for Swiss. Poland didn't do that much yet. We'll see if they can come up with a plan here. Well, offense now. Is he going inside? Oh, up there. Oh, shot and he oh, here we go. shot up with the goal. That was number five, Flaz J. Pusek. I apologize <laughs> to any <laughs> Polish watchers, listeners. Um, I do not know how to pronounce Polish names. I'm doing my best. Not trying to be disrespectful here. These people deserve their credit, so I'm going to give it to them as best as I can. Yeah, especially uh, as a Poli Polish guy has played yesterday the box game against Germany, which wasn't that satisfying for them to watch I guess so they been now on the field again probably also hangover I didn't look at quarter um, but yeah what I wanted to say was I'm glad the Poland is out here showing quite a men's trend yeah. and we'll just go to a short break and do a few commercials and be right back sind für Sie da. Wir sind Hanse Mondial. So, der hat schon verpasst. Better isn't a destination. It's a journey. It's a journey. Scored a goal, made a save, won a game. Great. But what did it work? What could you have done better? Succeeding one time isn't enough. Winning one game isn't enough. We're never satisfied. So get used to the mistakes. Keep learning from them. Because better is out there. And it's never done. And it's never done. And we're back. We gotta you but you can't see anything, okay? Oh wait. Here we go. We are back. Um, it's 2-2 two, two actually, we asked the bench in the, in the break. Um, I guess we just missed one here, or I just missed one here. Sorry for that. The Polish guy is really taking a long time here. Had a lot to discuss after the first quarter. It's already penalty, right? Is it a day of game, or...? I, I think we're a bit lenient today. 
Oh, yeah. It's early morning. We all have two days of the Germany lacrosse convention in our bones. So the refs giving them their time. That's and fair. We're off to a draw. And this is really physical again. We're going to hope by white. Red ball. So Poland on attack again. Can they get a uh, nice try to shoot? But they got the rebound. So still Poland ball. And they got the reset on the shot clock. I would love to see them take some time here. Yeah, take the time to settle. They did that quite earlier, but now they're really putting the pressure on. Dab with the pick. Nice like save. Yeah. Good game of the goalies. That was Andre Bremgartner with the save for Switzerland. We got a and the penalty here. Against Switzerland? Yeah, for Thierry Frey. Number 91. Oh, no, he just came off. Oh, number 27 gets the penalty. That's Stefan Zweifel. Stefan Zweifel. Um, I think it was legal procedure, maybe too many men. I'm not sure. A minor foul, at least. Yeah, it definitely was a minor. So that's when uh, they show the green card? Yeah. And persons are red, oh. right? Oh. That was a oh, great shot in. here by number 17, Kuba Kota. That was amazing, getting it right between the pipes and the goalie. So Swiss here trying to kill the time for the penalty. Yeah, they really want to keep possession for as long as they can It's now. really east and we are man Is it even again? So let's see if Swiss can even out the playing field here with a wide shot. It goes right, right? Yeah, it, it went safe. wide. Goalie picks up a new ball, and Poland is off. Off to Lidia as well. I need to just get the flag out here. We are even again. Um, other than that, what's your impression about the Lexicon flow? Like this is the first event that big in Europe, I guess. And well, I personally, I'm really enjoying my time here um, for multiple reasons. I mean, we have it on the slogan for the Germany Lacrosse Convention. Um, you can see here in the background, just behind the goalie that passes up the ball, it's play, learn, grow, and connect. And I've been doing all of these things this weekend, which is awesome. We got to play and learn women's box, which That's was my absolute favorite part. That's great. So you're planning on joining a league as soon as you can? Well, there is no women's league yet. Oh, there at least is uh, the she box event in Prague. Exactly. That's where I got started. Oh, um, you started there already? Yes. We went there um, just a couple of weeks ago, fell in love with the game, and Brian Whitmer um, and Frankie, or excuse me, I don't know his last name, they're really doing a lot for women's box in Europe. Yeah. And they were here this weekend coaching a clinic. Um, and also selling there the new sticks, the good stick. Right. I can also recommend those. I'm the proud owner of two of them. Yeah, I, I saw you running around with them. How much are they? Like They're 50 bucks. 50 bucks for a complete stick. For a complete stick that's made and produced and everything in Europe. That's um, great. And, and they're, they're decent sticks. Like, especially for players like me who are not that experienced. Well, especially not with men's sticks. Um, they're a good place to start for anyone looking to buy a stick in Europe. I think they are the goal is to sell... Ooh. Oh, nice, nice shot save. here, but amazing save for Andre Bremgartner. And a quick transitioning up the field here, trying to get as many players. Oh, they're slowing down now. I think I put them the lead with 32, so Swiss should take some time here to get something on the board again. Yeah, but remember, we have the shot clock, so yeah. taking the time is limited. They set the pick here, get the pass in front of the goal. Oh, uh, and with the bounce shot, goes wide. Oh, and Ooh. early pressure nice here. Nice pressure. Ooh, oh, that's a push. That is, that is the <laughs> box in their bones. <laughs> yeah, they're still playing box here. Fortunately for Poland, it was a loose ball push, so no sand off here. Got to go to the inside, and ooh. Was it safe? No, it went wide. Dario... Uh, Lindegger here, behind net, always closest to the shot, gets to pick up the ball, new 30 seconds. 
Another shot, another that save. That shot was safe. Here we go. What I wanted to say earlier is like they trying to sell one million sticks, one million good sticks around the uh, European lacrosse community, so everyone can tr start to play. Yeah, what we really want to do is grow the game, right? Yes. Um, because we can get even more opportunities like this event if there's more people involved. And uh, getting them to start with a $50 stick, 50 euro stick, um, is much easier than getting them to start with, oh, great shot here nice by Jakob Buhmann. So even again, nice swim dodge. Ah, not swim dodge, like a, a face dodge around the defender and then just a layup into the goal. So we have 3-3 three, three here. And there are two minutes left in the second quarter. So we're going to halftime. Oh. Good pick up. And now they really get can take the advantage. Two versus one. So he plays by himself. Uh, Shot doesn't make it. Would love to see him making the, the pass up there. Yeah, that was a great opportunity, but he probably saw his own opening. That's fair. Sometimes you gotta be selfish. Another oh, try, another go. There we go. That was number 11 from Switzerland, Thomas Chur. Just a fast run, Ellie Dodge against its defender and then a layup in there. Here's a Swiss. Arguably, the Swiss playing better here. They got th didn't don't have th that big of a lead, but. I think they're playing smarter. Yeah. Um. So they're really. Well, except for that. <laughs> one turnover they're really using each other um using the time to their advantage um putting early pressure when necessary letting the polish guys come when fit so yeah th they're playing really smart here that was a great shot unfortunately bounces off the post um you can also see them here subbing a lot which is necessary when you're tired um, so yeah, I think the Swiss guys are playing really smart. Yeah, I just played one tournament of s uh, sixes in Dortmund, uh, uh, one of the sixes tournaments the Deluxe V did last summer. Mm -hmm. um, it was really fun to play. It's fast pace. It's exhausting. You have to run so much between uh, both goals, doing defense and offense. Ooh! No, another great shot here, Jakob Buhmann. The the next goal for Switzerland, and correct me if I'm wrong, but that puts them in the lead by two goals? Yeah, we got five to three, the current scoreline. Another alley dodge against the defender. Clock should be on, right? Am, am I wrong here? No, right? Um, Great pickup, so last Oh yeah, he's on, he's on, clock is on. We got a hold. Yeah, that's another minor here for David Pericione, who's actually on the field with his brother number eight and we got half time right C can you tell me if the, if the flag stands for the next quarter yeah probably right the what stands the flag is there still a flag oh yeah up in the next yeah quarter? yeah okay. it will there the um swiss guys will start the next quarter with a man down okay so we are your streaming team uh flo and ola Doing the commentating as good as we can. Bear with us. We did say that a few times now, but we're giving our best. Other than that, we're just cutting to a short break, commercial break, and be back in a few minutes. Wir sind für Sie da. Wir sind Hanse Mondial. Corona gibt es eigentlich nicht mehr. Das ist durch, oder? <lacht> ah, die Werbung ist durch. Better isn't a destination. It's a journey. Yeah. It's a journey. Scored a goal. Made a save. Won a game. Great. But what did it work? What could you have done better? Succeeding one time isn't enough. Winning one game isn't enough. We're never satisfied. So get used to the mistakes. Keep learning from them. Because better is out there. And it's never done. And it's never done. Ich weiß nicht, also 
You're not born great. Great takes hard work. It's a relentless passion, sacrifice, dedication. And it's not for everyone. There will be mistakes and missteps. Missed shots, bad plays. But the task remains the same. Outwork. Outrun. Outplay. Embrace the challenge. Every sprint, every play, every shot is a chance to be better. So keep pushing, because everyone is watching. Better is out there, and it's never done. Better isn't a destination. It's a journey. Scored a goal, made a save, won a game, great. But what did it work? What could you have done better? Succeeding one time isn't enough. Winning one game isn't enough. We're never satisfied. So get used to the mistakes. Keep learning from them. Because better is out there. And it's never done. And it's never done. To anyone who doubts us, tells us we can't, or won't, says we're not good enough, strong enough, skilled enough, says we're not enough, too bossy, too this, too that, on the field, off the field, we don't have to say a word, because we'll prove you wrong in every single thing we do, in every rep, every sprint, and every play, with every shot. We'll play until our legs don't carry us. Don't believe us? Still doubt us? Watch us. And we are back. Hello. So, as Switzerland is man down, we don't have a face off here in the third quarter. And starting with a Polish ball right off the bat. Let's see what can they do. If they can close the gap on the man up. No, shot goes right and Swiss on the ball again. Let's see if they manage to kill the timeout, which should be like 10 seconds. Yeah, you can really set, uh, see them setting up here in their own half. And now we can f figure out if there's a clearing crowd. No, there won't be clearing crowd. They're way too slow. And the flag is released. That was, yeah. We are man up now. Uh, even now, sorry. He took more than 10 seconds to cross the midline. Did, did you count? Yeah, I looked at the shot clock. Okay. So, doesn't seem to be a penalty. <laughs> All right, here, the, the Swiss players. Another Ellie dodge. The Polish guys getting crushed on the alleys here. Which happened, I think the last two games for Switzerland were, were just alley dodges with a layup. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to slide there as a Polish, uh, as a Polish defender, just because I'm not that used to sixes. But I would recommend to do a slide here. Yeah. Just as my knowledge as a, as a defender in the normal lacrosse game. Especially because the Polish guys aren't sitting as tight in the defense as the Swiss guys are here. Um, a good save. Yeah, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. No, it wasn't safe, right? It would be a save. It, went, it was deflected. 
Okay. It counts as a save usually because the, the shot was on goal. Oh, and they lose the ball here trying to clear it, which gives Poland the next possession. A little bit sloppy play there from the Czech, uh, from the Swiss goalie. Or just a miscommunication probably. Between we'll chalk him and it up Svenner. to last night's party, right? Oh, Ooh. great shot here by number seven. That's Kajetan Buszek. And so Polish are close to one goal here. Yeah, I think um, the Swiss guys really have to keep paying attention here because Poland can easily catch up. And especially because this is sixes, the score could change by a lot of goals in just a few minutes here. So yeah. you really want to have a lead that's greater than a goal or two. Oh, that's an outside shot. Easy save for the Polish goalkeeper, Krzysztof Kusniski. Oh, that was good, good pronunciation, I guess. I have no idea. It, it, I probably it missed great. a couple of letters here. <laughs> oh, another great save by Andrzej Primgartner. And a reset here on the shot clock, so another fresh 30 for Poland. Polish offense here really trying to get all the defenders on one side of the net so that um, number two can run down and have the shot but Swiss defense reacted <coughs> really good. That's uh, number two for you, zero for me. Yeah, uh, we're doing an uh, in s internal sneeze counter here because we're both allergic to something grown here so we try to count how many sneezes we have and right now I'm leading with two to zero. So flow is quite healthy up there. Maybe you hear the wind. Probably the wind gets all the pollen away from here. But I'm just getting it down here. Ooh, oh, nice that dodge. was great by Jakob Buman running right through the middle, dodging out two defenders and getting the shot off. And Poland really here doing the quick transition. Switzerland isn't fully on the field yet, and Poland's already run up. Unfortunately, go no goal off that quick start. Yeah, I can't capitalize on that opportunity, but I think that's the good. I it's a good idea. That's the way to go if they want to score here. Um, oh, oh, lucky save there with the feet. Are they step on the ball? Yeah. So I think he picked up the the ball from underneath his feet. But um, most goalies will tell you during the game it doesn't matter how you save it as long as you save it. And that's a great shot here by one of the brothers, Steven Pelliccione. Far outside shot. And a rip into the net. Yeah, we see them a lot less during sixes uh, than during regular field lacrosse. But sometimes they still pay off. I'm uh, really missing a few of transition goals here. Yeah, the, they, they, they manage to do quick transitions, but then they settle and work harder for that goal. That was Jan Ritzak. Because oh. yesterday, when I was able to watch some games, um, especially in Hong Kong or Germany. Yeah, they did a lot of transition goals. Hong Kong was... Just having one guy up in front of the midline when the shot clock ran out. He just sprinted up the field, got a quick pass from the goalie and just buried it most of the time. Yeah, Hong Kong has two amazing players at transitions. That's Evan McLeme and Keegan Ball. Yeah, they're the Canadians. Really th they're impressing uh, all of us here at the lacrosse convention. I think they're gaining a lot of fans. I mean, Keegan Ball probably has some fans as he claims <laughs> in the NLL. Well, he has more now. <laughs> <laughs> got the European fans in here as well. It's, it's a pleasure to have that Player, that good players here. Yeah, I mean it's it's awesome to see all of these national teams. Oh, you got a f wh when do we have a flag? Oh, that was a slash here for number thirteen, Dario Lindegger. Um, that was on the goal. Um, the advantage oh, okay. was given, and then after the goal, the penalty was called. Oh, and the shot clock runs down here, so Poland gets to pick up the ball, run it downfield. We release the flag, so even again. <laughs> a 
afraid cross check. I don't know. Are you allowed to cross check in uh, men's sixes? Uh, I don't think so. You're you're allowed to play stick defense, All right. like checks. So that was definitely stick defense and not a cross check then. <laughs> and easy, <laughs> and easy uh, body checks, but nothing harder. Supposed to be a little bit like basketball, I guess. Okay. But correct me if I'm wrong. I'm really not used to sixes, and our main commentator is, but I can't see him anywhere. If you see something on someone on cam, it doesn't matter which stream with a beautiful mustache, like twirled up. That's our commentator. That's Garrett. Yeah, Garrett yeah. had a late night too. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't actually. Oh, that is a timeout. I think it's called by Switzerland. Current scoreline is seven to five for Swiss, Switzerland. So maybe they want to do something for the last thirty seconds here, getting one quick run up, and finish this quarter with a comfortable th eight five lead, if possible. If not seven two, everything can go every way here if Poland starts to bury their shots. We'll see. Maybe they also just needed a breather. <laughs> the sun is coming out here. It's not getting any easier to play. Yeah, right. All right. So I love matching helmets to uniforms. It was great with the Swiss team. We got two guys That's true. Yep. destroying the whole picture by wearing a gold. <laughs> okay, the golden helmet is sick. Actually, I want a golden helmet as well. And the blue? I, I, that seems to be a team helmet. It's a it has it's the a M on it. I don't know what school or team that is, but I'm guessing it's a team helmet. Oh, this is a quick transition. And a shot that unfortunately doesn't ah. quite make it. But that's what we wanted yeah. to see. That's what we were saying. And another quick restart, but you have to wait. Stop the clock. We're stopping the clock. I think it's ref time. Are they, they you're not sure if they went off the goalie or went off the post or get went wide? Because right now they're giving the ball back to Switzerland, which would tell us that the goalie touched the ball at least. But apparently he didn't, so it's Polish ball. Oh, and we got a ball on the field here viral. And the goalie picking up another. All right, and the clock is on. Yeah, regarding my time, there's like 15 seconds left. I'm not sure if it's correct, but they have to finish fast here. Oh, that was a fake pass. Ooh. Oh, and a great goal here by number five. That's Plasje Pusek. That's something for highlight tape here. And we got quarter. So we go into the last break here before our last quarter and hear you in a minute. Wir sind für Sie da. Wir sind Hanse Mondial. Better isn't a destination, it's a journey. Yeah. Scored a goal, made a save, won a game, great. But what did it work? What could you have done better? Succeeding one time isn't enough. Winning one game isn't enough. We're never satisfied. So get used to the mistakes. Keep learning from them. Because better is out there, and it's never done. You're not born great. Great takes hard work, commitment. It's a relentless passion, sacrifice, dedication. And it's not for everyone. And welcome back in the last quarter. Let's see, it's a close game here, seven to six for Switzerland. Let's see what the last quarter gives us. Oh, was that early movement or? I didn't, I didn't see the call here, but at least there was some kind of foul here. 
So Switzerland gets to start with the ball in the white. Oh, that was a shot that went to the outside of the net. And now Poland in the red. Is there a stop clock in the last two minutes of the last quarter? Yes. Okay, okay, good to know. So it's running clock during the entire game except for the last two minutes of the last quarter. Yeah, I actually... And that was great work here by Philip Kosicki. Kosicki. That was... That deserved a good pronunciation of the last name. I'm yeah, sorry, but was that was goal. really good. So we're even now, seven to seven. I just want to see that early in the morning. Ooh, good defense down. Good morning. Twin. I will just mute the audio shortly, sorry. Was it? For oh. Switzerland. Yeah. Sorry, we just got something to drink, so we weren't able to film it, but we got, uh, it was wrong. We got Switzerland in charge now. One goal. Eight. Oh, I'm, I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. Eight to seven for Switzerland. And uh, Flo, the camera is on the wrong side of the field. Oh yeah. I was trying to get a drink. Yeah, yeah, drink something. <laughs> Unfortunately, our team is quite small here for the streaming, so... We have to do our best to multitask, as I said before. All right, I have my drink. I'm trying to do the camera now again. <laughs> Try to. Oh, the deck roll into the net. Oh no, he hit the goalie while at least one feet wasn't increased, so it's interference. We got a flag against Switzerland. Yeah, that's Steven Pelliccione here that has to sit out. The guy with the long helmet. <laughs> oh, so man up for Poland. And let's see if they can close the gap and even the game out again. Speaking about matching helmets, I like the Polish helmets as well, especially with the red chrome. Oh, yeah. Chrome stickers. Yeah, safe. Yeah. I'll zoom in on them when I get a chance. Yeah, but next time out, you can go for the Polish team then. Unfortunately, no goal of the, fl of the man up here, and Switzerland is going to kill the timeout. Yeah, the, the, the foul. Penalty time. Yeah, just a couple seconds here, and Switzerland oh, even is again. even again. Are you saying Switzerland is even or are even? Well, hell of I know. <laughs> I don't think it really matters. This Switzerland team is even and the Switzerland players are even so we have a fa personal foul against Swiss uh, against a Polish player I'm not sure what was the call here the Polish players seem to not be sure either discussing here on the sideline but it's number 21 Kamil Grabowski that gets the penalty so we got Switzerland now man up and probably the chance to expand the lead here Another go to another goal. Moving it around slowly. And a shot and inside. Great shot. That was number 11, Thomas Chor, with the next goal for Switzerland here. Nice finish. Top left. Oh, he's charging through to three defenders. Gets away with the ball, even though he doesn't get in a great position. Shoots from the outside. Easy right. save for the goalie here. He had to ride the shot clock is running out. Yeah. Okay. That was sometimes you can't wait for getting a sh good position. But um, David Pelliccione is in a good position and scores here. In transition. For Switzerland. Well, another transition goal, great. Like the listening to us. Probably the coach has our stream up here. <laughs> Actually, Switzerland doesn't seem to have a separate coach. I'm guessing one of the players double functions as a coach as well. Whereas Poland is here with two support staff. Yeah, this is some development I noticed in the, in the last few years, and at least in Germany, we're getting more and more coaches. Yeah. 
which is great. It's always great to have uh, a designated person on the sideline. Yeah, there, um, there are so many Americans here. Ooh, nice goal. Nice goal here by dodge. Thierry Frey. To the inside dodge. And Switzerland gets away here, like 11-7 lead after 8-7 start to the quarter. Yeah, they're really... I think they're waking up. I think they're <laughs> shaking off last night. The pace of the game has increased tremendously compared to the first quarter. Um, we love to see it. I mean, it's mean to play the first game of the day. Yeah, especially when nobody else is here yet. They played last night with a lot of visitors, a lot of fans cheering. And they had, I say they had like three games at least, everyone, I think. Yeah, I was here for two of them from the Switzerland team, so. And we got stop clock from now on, right? Yeah, last two minutes stop clock. Let's see if I managed to remember that <laughs> while <laughs> casting. All right, we had a little bit of a ground ball hustle here, really. Oh, nice feed. Oh, that was a great pass. Did it went wide? What happened there? I couldn't see I it really. It, it bounced off the floor and onto the poles and didn't quite make it behind the goal line. But that was really close and would have been an amazing goal. It was a really good feed. Talking about good feeds, what's another one that goes wide? No, that's actually a save. It's picked up oh. by the goalie. That it's was a so hard to see the ball on the little screen here. I give my best. I should probably just let you do the uh, <laughs> all the game talking. That's oh, That's a save now. Deflected and Poland manages, tries to get keep the ball in play. And Poland gets possession of the ball. Not quite sure if on a penalty or if it was pushed out of bounds by Swiss players, but Poland has the ball. Another 30 seconds on the shot clock, and the pass doesn't connect and goes wide here. So Switzerland gets to pick up the ball. So did you stop the time while the ball yeah, was out? I did, I did. Well, good job. That's fresh remember. <laughs> We're really working on our multitasking game here today. Yeah, stopping the clock again. I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. All right, and goalie is back on the field. By the way, Last big second. shout out to our sponsor, Sport Deutschland here. Uh, the whole streaming is planned and organized by them and our partner, GP Media. Oh. Who turn over. That pass doesn't connect and goes into the other half. It was the first over and back, right? We hadn't yeah, seen one before. Yeah, but there's no over and back calls today. Um, I saw a lot more of them yesterday. But um, th today's game really happening by the goals, not much going on in the middle. Clock is on now. My clock is already running down to zero. <laughs> so I didn't manage to pl uh, place a stock clock, apparently. But yeah. Oh, that pass doesn't quite connect. It was a great idea, though. Picked up by Poland. Great pickup. Oh, one last fast Does break. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that pass doesn't connect. But that was a great break over here by the two Polish players. And that was the last action of the game, I think. Yeah, this is game time. Switzerland managed to win it 11 to 7 against the Polish guys, against Poland. All right. And I'm, I promised the yeah. helmets. So Close one of the helmets. Before Thank you. we go here. The amazing chrome on the white helmets here for <sighs> the Polish guys. I love the cross chrome. Okay. So. That was it from the first game of the Sunday, the third day of the Germany Lagrasse Convention here in Dresden. Switzerland with the win. And was that the last game, the re last regular game of the tournament? I think so, yes. Wait, let me check. Um, there are upcoming games for sure, like the, f the small finals of the women, and the fall sm uh, small final of the men, and the big finals. Also some box streams. But regarding no, there's one more men's sixes game, which is Hong Kong against Great Britain, which oh probably that will is be a, a sick great game. game. Is it on this court? I'm not sure where it is. All right, so one more amazing game coming up here in the tournament before we go into the finals. We'll see you for the next streams. Okay. That's us. Bye.
Wir sind für Sie da. Wir sind Hanse Mondial. To anyone who doubts us, tells us we can't or won't, says we're not good enough, strong enough, skilled enough, says we're not enough, too bossy, to this, to that, on the field, off the field, we don't have to say a word because we'll prove you wrong in every single thing we do. In every rep, every sprint, and every play, with every shot. We'll play until our legs don't carry us. Don't believe us? Still doubt us? Watch us. Better isn't a destination, it's a journey. Yeah. It's a journey. Scored a goal, made a save, won a game, great. But what did it work? What could you have done better? Succeeding one time isn't enough. Winning one game isn't enough. We're never satisfied. So get used to the mistakes. Keep learning from them. Because better is out there, and it's never done. And it's never done. Thank you. 